Hi guys, it's Mason from Clevername Studios, and today we're here with a tutorial on behalf of the Adam EXP's channel here on YouTube. And I'm going to be showing you how to blur someone's face or any other portion of video, such as a t-shirt logo that it might be copyrighted, or uh, nudity. So, this is going to be all in Final Cut Express, but it works the same way in Final Cut Pro and while the shortcut keys and the filters are not in the same place, it's probably how it works in Adobe Premiere and many other uh, nonlinear editing softwares. So, I'm going to drag my clip from my browser to my canvas, put it on my V1 video track, and now I'm going to double click that clip to select it. I'm going to press Shift and Alt and hold those down, click my clip again, and drag up. To the second video track. Alright, my clip is now two clips, one right on top of the other. Double click to select the second video clip. That is the track that is on top and the track that is on the V2 video track. And I apologize for that stutter there. So, with that clip selected, go to Effects, Video Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. In the viewer, uh, which is this window right here. Click filters and blur the crap out of that. Now go double click this again, which will just basically be the same thing as clicking the video tab here in the uh, viewer window. And then go to effects, video filters, matte, mask, shape. Click filters the tab filters in the viewer window and adjust the horizontal and vertical scale and I'm also going to make that an oval and then click this center button here you are unable to move uh, without clicking the center button so move that above his face and let's play with the horizontal and vertical scale a little bit more I don't want to play with it too much because it's not a real you know, movie I'm doing here. I'm just doing a tutorial for YouTube. And now I've gotten it around his face a little bit, but I want to show you if he moves, which he does, not too much. I kind of got it, well, he moves out of frame here. So I'm going to go to the first frame. You can do that easily by clicking the down arrow key, or the up arrow key, rather. Down arrow key moves you to the last frame. So click the up arrow key to move to the first frame of this video track. And click this button right here which is the insert keyframe button on the center track here that is the track with the center button that has center written on it so click that and I'm gonna hold my right arrow key down until I see his face move out of the blurred area so it takes a little while and I'm still holding it and I'm actually going to keep going just to, I'm going to skip forward here by scrubbing, by grabbing my playhead up until the point that his face moves out of frame. All right, so when that happens, click your center button again, click your little blurry spot, and move in front of his face, or your subject's face, her face, depending on what you're doing. And just keep going until the next point that your subject moves out of frame, which would be a few seconds ago for me. And I'm going to move it over to here, then my blurry circle. And there we go. Now I've shown you how to blur the subject's face. And there were a couple of areas where he got out of frame, so we're going to scrub back and move that over into his face. Just scrub. All right, so it should be covering his face the entire time. And you would take much more time with this if it was not just a YouTube tutorial. But now I'm going to show you something also cool, which is how to make everything blurry but the subject's face. And that's just to click this invert button right here on your mask shape effect under your video filters, which makes everything but his face blurry. And that's kind of cool. And if you wanted to, you could go in and add a mask feather which would make it a much more believable effect. I believe actually Big Hollywood Cinema has used this exact same technique to create an effect where it drew you into a subject. They would just roto around the subject and blur the background out. 
So, I hope this tutorial has been interesting. If you liked this tutorial, subscribe to my channel over at Clever Name Studios on YouTube. And please check out my website, NewCreativity.com. Thanks for watching.